Hey, this is Coltrans from Necrotics Gaming bringing you another video and today I am bringing you what I would call the Swarm of Perfected. It is an absolutely solid build. Um, you will tre treble the kills of anyone else on your fire team and it is nasty and you have Threadlings for days. Um, unraveling rounds are almost non-stop and your tangles are everywhere. So you really do not have to... Uh, go conservative on how you play you can just unleash and keep going and um, it's just a lot of fun as you can see with the footage you can see everything's kicking off and you're wiping out ads without having to do practically anything all you're doing is casting off that one hit at a time okay so we're going to be using that needle storm obviously the only one that we have on the warlock but it is absolutely solid and everything that doesn't hit turns into a threadling we're going to be going for the healing rift then we're going to be going for the strafe glide the arcane needle you get three of those so keep using it and we are also going to be using the grapple so that we get that powered melee hit and on that powered melee hit we will get the three threadlings spawn and we'll also get a tangle in that situation so you can hit threadlings out grab that tangle throw it for even more threadlings then we're going to be going for mind spun invocation and we're using that so that we can get the grapple melee spawning the threadlings and on top of that anything that doesn't get used your warlock will store them up and we're going to be going for the Weaver's Call. So casting your Rift gives you three Threadlings. So you can imagine that you're going in with your melee, bang, and then dropping that. It's nasty. Thread Awarding, picking up an Orb of Power is going to grant you that Woven Mail. Then you're going to be going for Thread of Binding, so that when you pop your Super, um, targets put out Suspending Bursts. Then Thread of Rebirth, Strand Weapon, Final Blows have a chance in creating a Threadling. And then we're going to be doing Thread of Evolution. Threadlings travel further and deal additional damage. And saying this is a build about Threadlings, using the Swarmers, that's what you're going to want to be using and running with. Then you're going to be focusing on your Resilience and your Discipline. And the weapon of choice for me is my Perpetualis. It is lethal, especially with a build like this with Hatchling. And you also have the Noble Deeds, which is going to give you the um, bonus handling and reload speed when it is charged up. You're going to get that charged using all of your strand buffs. You can use another um, primary quicksilver is also very good to use. Um, I'm just like the Perpetualis, I just think it's super nice. And I've got Rufus as well that I use. But the fact this has got Hatchling using this on a Swarmer build is ideal. Then we're going to be going for Circular Logic. Um, you want to keep an eye on those strand surges because when we have the strand surges on it's absolutely nasty and you can see mine has got hatchling on it and obviously the nanotech tracer rockets so we're going to be putting out a lot of very fast damage output with it you can see here on my queen's fall sensor artifact i'm running with the unraveling orbs so on orbs power strand weapons get unraveling rounds using strand weapons and horde shuttle damaging unravel targets with a weapon occasionally spawns a threadling so there you go again more threadlings and you can see that i'm using the swarmers i think these are pretty underused uh, to be honest and i think they have a really great potential so you can see destroying a tangle spawns a threadling so you're going to be destroying a lot and threadlings unravel targets that they damage you can see here all the mods that I'm running with it. It's set up to drop orbs of power. And you can see that I've got all the recuperation on just to give you that little bit of a backup because the recovery is quite low. And you can see everything here is going to be proccing melee and grenade. Okay, if you want to go out and have fun with this build, um, if you want the dem for it, don't forget to leave me a comment and I always respond and always give out dems. So enjoy this build. Like I said, it's a quick build. You won't be disappointed with it. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Go out and destroy.
effective guardian. You have an instinct for battle. 